my name is Danielle Gibson. My name is Angeline Koss, and I'm the secondary teacher for the continuing education program. Wayne Mercer, Vice Principal of Queen Elizabeth High School in Sioux Lookout. I'm Michael Bowes, Principal of Sioux Mountain Public School in Sioux Lookout, Ontario. Sioux Lookout is uh, located uh, approximately 400 kilometers north of Thunder Bay, and it's a community of approximately 5,000 people. The program is uh, intended to provide support to students of families that are staying at the hostel. We were concerned that um, there are many uh, children of elementary age that uh, are staying at the hostel and uh, not receiving um, an educational program during that time. During their short stay at the hospital, uh, whether it be a couple of weeks or a month, they were able to start programming and then we were able to facilitate them registering in a school that could support them when they go back home. A typical day in our program would be um, we go over to the hostel daily and we just kind of check to see who's around, if there's any kids. Um, we hand out our posters, we explain our program. We will walk over to tables and talk to people while they're eating their lunches. We will meet with them uh, while they're checking in, just asking people if they would be interested in our program and kind of leaving it up to them. So with the visits up to the hostel every day, it allows our faces to be known to the people that are staying within the hostel. We make ourselves known and we're building that trust within people and gaining that trust um, that we can break down the barriers and have people come and visit us and explore the opportunities with our program. Once students come to our classroom, we contact their previous school to find out what classes or courses they've taken previously. Um, once we have that information, we begin them on an independent learning course. The parents don't have to worry about, well, who can I leave with my kid with back at home? They know that they can bring their kid here, that they'll be kept up with their schoolwork and they'll have somewhere to be during the day. Being able to help one person or even more people really touches me um, deeply. Just having an impact on some of these kids lives and just knowing that you could make such an impact on their future. We have heard feedback from people from the communities that this is an amazing opportunity for a lot of kids and adults. Uh, I personally don't know where some of our clients would be if we did not have this program. For instance, some of the withdrawal patients that we've seen, they're making a huge turnaround in their lives and with this program it's a goal that they've set is to continue with their education and that would not happen if we were not here. The Minayawan classroom itself is important in that it um, helps to fill the gaps uh, when students are, are out of school for, for a length of time. Being able to, uh, being able to continue with education programming uh, for, those, uh, for those kids is very important. And, and if we can offer that support while they're staying at the Minayawan Hospital, uh, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. It's really important that these kids have somewhere to go where they can still be learning and growing while they're here. Um, these are kids who don't have much else to do while they're here. Uh, they're away from their home community, they're away from their families for the most part. Um, it's important that these kids don't fall behind. When these students come to our program, they feel loved, they feel cared for. Feel cared for. Um, when they leave at the end of the day, I think they have something to feel proud of. They're always bringing their work home to show their parents. People need to know that they can bring their kids down here. Their kids won't be out of school if they come. They need to know that their kids are getting a quality education while they're here. I, I'm thinking that we've only re really reached the tip of the iceberg here of what potentially could happen in, in terms of offering services uh, to these, uh, these uh, patient and students.